Hey y'all, it's Bitty Boo, aka Dana. And that's Domino. Moved on. <laughs> Moved on. Anyway, today we're going to talk about a reason why I prep. One o'clock this morning, our power went out. It was only gone for about 10 minutes. I get on Facebook, <coughs> and people are, I'm glad the power came back on, I'm freezing, blah, 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 blah. Same people that I've been telling for years, two is one, one is none. You need two sources of heat, two sources of way to cook fire, and at least two sources for to get water. And I was like, huh. I said, well, I said, I'm sitting here pretty toasty myself. Because why? I'll show you. I'll insert that right here. So anyway, starts rocking around, three o'clock hits, three o'clock hits, power goes out. It is now 11 o'clock in the afternoon. We still have no power. I still have heat. Yes, it was 20, I think it got down to like 27 degrees last night. So if it had been colder than that, a lot of people would have really been in a lot of trouble. But I still had heat because why? I have the wood stove. I don't just encourage people to prepare to hear my brain rattle. I don't talk just to hear my brain rattle. I talk to encourage people to be more self-sufficient and to be more self-reliable, okay? If they don't get that power on, and it's supposed to be a cold wind again tonight, what are these people going to do? Are they going to sit there in their homes and freeze and gripe and complain? I mean, I don't even know if I'll get this video up later because I don't know that I have enough power to do it, but I can get in my vehicle and turn on my vehicle for it to upload, okay? So I can charge my phone. It's getting a little nippy. But people need to stop and think, what are you gonna do? You hit me at three o'clock this morning and they said it's because of the rain we have gotten. Well, we haven't gotten that much rain, but it supposedly flooded one of the power stations out. And so the main company had to reroute to another company or reroute to another substation. And they're having problems getting pa that station to transfer power because it keeps blowing breakers or fuses or whatever it is. All North Pittsburgh County is without power. That's quite a few people, y'all. That's like, I have an electric cook stove in my house. So what am I gonna do tonight? To fix supper, I'm gonna cook on the wood stove. Have two sources of heat, at least two sources to cook, and at least two sources to get water. Okay, if you have to have a rain catchment, if you have city water, fine and dandy. 
have a filter to filter that water. But if that water's not coming through, what are you gonna do? At least have a rain catchment system. That's my next goal here is to have a rain catchment system. Yes, I've brought in bottled water and stuff in that nature, so we'll have water if our, we turn on the faucet and we don't have water one day, but that's not very reliable. I mean, I don't wanna have to go to town to get water. So my goal is to put a rain catchment system up. Think about if this happens to you, what are you gonna do? Don't wait until it happens to you. Remember y'all, the world is a better place because y'all are in it. Don't ever forget it. I love y'all each and every one. Y'all take care. Bye.